Hey everybody, I am in Decatur, Georgia at Eddie's Attic to interview Gareth Asher, a musician and singer here in Georgia. He's a great singer and I know you're going to enjoy this interview. Just wait until you hear him sing. When we speak. I saw that it says Gareth Asher and the Earthlings. Right. Is that your band or who yeah. is that? I mean, the Earthlings is the band name. Okay. Uh, I was a, or I've been a solo acoustic artist mainly for the last three years. Uh -huh. um, but I've been looking to, to you know add members and get. I've always wanted the full band sound, mm -hmm. and I've just recently came across that in the last six months. Okay. So when I got that, I was like, well, I need a name, <laughs> but I can't lose my name because nobody will know who we are. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of you know I took. Gareth Asher and added the Earthlings uh, as the band name. You know, eventually we might just be the Earthlings, but right okay. now it's kind of like, let's let everybody know that it's Yeah, you got to stamp it. Yeah, yeah. Kind of put the brand on Put it out there and then maybe, you know, drop my name afterwards. Oh, okay. So when, when was the first time that you recall that you said to yourself, hey, you know, I want to be a singer. I want to be a musician. Uh... I mean, I always loved singing. I, when I was in college is when I started playing guitar mm -hmm. and um, started picking up cover gigs in town. And people were like, you need to do something with that, man. Uh. You need to do something. So, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I started discovering it in college that I really loved singing and that it was going to be a way that I could make a living for myself and be happy doing something that I love. So you, you said that you um, started in college. Were you taking, right. like, uh, any musicals? courses no, or anything I, like that? I never took any lessons. I took, really? I was in band for a couple of years in high school and then uh -huh. uh, I quit that because that was, no, was not good. What did you play in the band? The drums. I was in the drum line. I played trumpet and baritone. Right. So I was in the band too. I, start, I started with sax but I was like they're having way more fun back then in the drum line. <laughs> I so, wanted to uh, play the sax, you know, do the little smooth grooves and uh, stuff like that. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> it didn't it work was out. never smooth. <laughs> <laughs> it was more uh, just annoying people. Oh, okay. <laughs> feel like you know the arts is so important you know for students who want to do things Definitely. like that and most of the time if they're gonna pull back on money it's always the art programs and stuff like that oh, yeah. why do you think as with you being a musician and a singer why do you think it's important that we do offer arts and stuff like that to the youth um, well coming from my point of view I think it's way more important than French or, uh, <laughs> You know, I'm just thinking of classes that were in my school that were just, you know, algebra. You know, who, I don't use algebra anymore. You know, <laughs> right. but I mean, I guess there are people in the world, but I'm an artist, and you know, that's all. That's the only art we had was the band. So I come from a small school, small town in the middle of West Georgia. So I would have liked to have seen more art classes, right. uh, but I think it's very important to uh, to nurture the creative mind for for kids because. Uh, I don't know. It just—it seems like the necessary part of our culture is to constantly be creating new things and, and people expressing themselves without fear of uh, of lashback or people looking back, looking down on them for something. You know, you can't be scared of doing that. And I think if you start at an early age uh, learning how to express yourself creatively, then you're going to get through all those worries and doubts about doing it uh, publicly when you grow old, when you get old.
was watching a video of you, and you were stating that you listened to a lot of 70s and 80s soul singers, I think, yeah. when you were growing up. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what I discovered on my own. Uh -huh. uh, my mother was more like a Jackson Brown, Don Henley, uh, singer-songwriter. Mm -hmm. you know, that's what she played around the house. My dad did like soul music, but he didn't get much say-so in what we listened to at the uh -huh. house. So, <laughs> um, Otis Redden, when I, when I first heard Otis Redden and Sam Cooke and uh, those cats, you know, like that's my whole ears just went, wow. you know, people singing <laughs> about that gut-wrenching uh -huh. feeling that just made them stay up all night writing that song, you just felt it, right. you know, when I, when I experienced that, it was like, that's, that's what I want to do, really? you know. So, who do you listen to now, currently, I that inspires you? Well, I mean, I, more present day. Yeah. Uh, Amos Lee, I think, is an amazing songwriter. I think he, it's kind of like the Bob Dylan of our time. Uh, Aqualung, I really love Aqualung. Okay. I think he's insanely talented. He's very orchestral. Somebody's in trouble. I know. Woo! Uh, <laughs> they're coming to get us. Um... <laughs> uh, I love Michael Kiwanuka. Have you heard of him? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm but saying I his last will, name right. I will know of him because once you say it, I'm going to go check it oh, out. Go, you know? you'll, you'll dig him. Okay. You know, he's got something special. He's, he's kind of busting out on the scene right now. Okay. But yeah, just I, I listen for people that are singing from their heart, man. Singing stories about things they've either experienced or seen. You know, you can feel it when it's true. Okay. Uh, what is... Um, how can I say this? What is the driving force behind your music? What I experience, you know, life, my friends, my family, uh, being on the road and meeting people and sitting at a bar and talking to a stranger and hearing his story about how he's <laughs> been on the road, you know, for six months and looking for a place to live. I mean, whatever, you know, anything like that. I listen to a conversation and there'll be a line that'll just hurt my ear up and I'm like that's that's poetic or that's something that I uh, you know I've experienced or I, I connect with somebody if they say something that lights me up like that that's usually what inspires my music I'll go home and build off of that idea okay. uh, or sometimes it just happens randomly like the wind blowing you know it's kind of like it's kind of like a breeze you, you better catch it before it passes you by <laughs> or else you wait for the next one to come along I got a thing that you could find it Given the chance, would you rewind it Back to a day when you still minded How to try There in the light of day you're standing Open heart but empty handed When lonely tears have commanded You to try as far as your music, I know that you you have what? Three, two, one. How many albums? Uh, three records total that you okay. can get on iTunes. Okay. Um, about to release a fourth one okay. real soon. It's in the mixing stages, so it'll be uh, be out before the end of the year. Okay. And what's the name of those? The name of the records that are already the one, out. Already out. Uh, the last one's called Between the Smiles and Tears. Uh -huh. uh, the one before that's called I'm the Earth, and the one before that's called No Reality. Do you um, have any idea of what you're thinking about for this new one? The name? Mm -hmm. No. no. Not no, at yeah. all? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I always name the record right before I release it. Really? It's kind of the last thing I decide, yeah. what, what it is all encapsulated. Uh, do you go back and listen to like the songs that you put on it, or do you... I mean, that's part of it. Listen, how it makes me feel when I hear it when it's done. When I hear it when it's done. That's kind of... Uh, whatever feelings stand out the most to me about that record of my life. You know, I like calling them records because it's kind of a record of your life. Uh, Jackson Brown said that, and I really liked it when he, when he said that. Uh, and so I still call them records, but um, yeah, I don't know yet. Okay. It'll be something that, that means something to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, for me, I believe that it's very important to support artists when they're doing their thing, and I always say that you know, the, everything that you hear on the radio is easy to come by. So you have, like for artists like you, yourself and any other artists I've had on my show, 
you always have to search for those artists because you, you, most of the time, I mean, sometimes they don't, they get airplay and sometimes they don't. And you have to really search for them. So why do you think it's very important that artists like yourself and other artists, why it's so important for us to look for you all and support you all when you're doing shows like tonight at right. Eddie's Attic right. for your performance tonight, right? Oh, it, it helps us eat and <laughs> keep the power on. Yeah, of course, that's uh, the first main reason. No, I mean... <laughs> I can tell you from my experience why I like to search for music mm -hmm. uh, is because the radio gives you the same right. whatever top songs are playing all over the country. That's right. all they play exactly. for you. And you. If that's your source of music, which is, it's changing, man. Like People are so much more into Pandora and all these streaming sites, Spotify, and to where they can pick what they want to listen to. The radio is on the way out, I have no doubt. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, it is important, you know. I think if, if you love music and music is something that inspires you to uh, to search out the music that inspires you the most, and then definitely go support, <laughs> go see shows. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. Now before we go, I have one more question, and then I will be ending it. Actually, okay. ending this actually, <laughs> and then you can go set up and perform and have a great show tonight. Oh, yeah. But um, how can we keep in contact with you and what you're doing? Um, the main place I like people to come is my website. Okay. Uh, it's GarethAsher.com, which is G-A-R-E-T-H, Asher, A-S-H-E-R. Uh, I have to do that. Nobody knows how to spell my name. <laughs> but it's a community site. It's kind of like a Facebook page as far as the way it works. Right. Uh, you can come to my site and create your own page within my website. So where you can share your blogs, your photos. If you come to a show, you can upload a picture to your page, and it shows on the main page of my website. So it's very community-based, and I'm the one that runs it. You know, I go in it every morning, and whoever's talking, I talk to them. You know, so if you want to have a conversation with me or, or know what's going on, come to my site every morning, we can talk. You know? So uh, I drive people to there, first and foremost. But, uh, of course, Facebook, Twitter, search my name, you'll find me. <laughs> Google me. <laughs> That's what everybody me. likes to say. Google you'll, me. You'll find me. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. If you could take all your creativity and put it in a brush and, 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 and in, a paint, in a paint bucket. I like this and question use a brush. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think really hard for this question. <laughs> if you could take it and put it in a bucket of paint and you had to paint a picture with your creativity, what would you paint? Big, bright sunshine shining down over a beautiful world man it's just i like i like to see things bright and lit up maybe some some stars flickering in the background <laughs> as the sun's setting i don't know I, i'm very outdoorsy so i like uh, do you like, get a lot of inspiration from outdoors oh yeah i do all my writing outdoors pretty much almost every song i've written really? in the woods or on top <laughs> of a mountain or, I can't write in the city, man. It's like there's too much distraction here. I like to have a good time. Yeah. So, I mean, even if I start writing, somebody will call me and be like, hey, man, let's go see the show or let's go do that. So when I really want to get into uh, clearing out my thoughts and, and writing the music that I want to sing, I have to go, I have to separate myself, so to speak. And, and the way I do that is I, I go home. You know, I have 40 acres of land that I grew up on. And I'll go sit in those woods and just that's where it comes out, man. So... If I had to paint something, I'd probably paint just a big, pretty picture of the world. You know, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> See, I, I, I I've had only to think painted, really hard for that question. I've only painted one time, and it was it was very uh, very different than what I just said. It was a lot of red and black, and uh -huh. but it was a mountainous landscape. I remember that. <laughs> well, I can't paint at all, so I don't try. <laughs> I don't try to paint. <laughs> uh, love, you know. I'm all about love. Love each other. Treat each other good. I'd paint that picture. Wow. Well, Gareth, I thank you so much for joining me on When We Speak. It's been an honor to, to meet you. you too, and man. I look forward to, you know, hearing more from you. Yeah. And I'm going to be coming to your performances and everything. That's so, right. You know, Anytime. Once again, thank you, okay? Thank you. And thank you for watching When We Speak. And until next time, always remember that death and life are in the power of the tongue. When We Speak.
Hey everybody, this is what I need you to do. If you enjoy the interviews that I bring on When We Speak, what I need you to do is look at the bottom of your screen, somewhere down there, no matter whether you're watching it on YouTube or Facebook or some other uh, website. There's probably a like button or a thumbs up button or a place for you to comment. So if you like what I'm doing with When We Speak, please comment, like the video, and share the video so that I can continue to bring interviews like this. I am enjoying doing this and I know that you want me to continue to bring these, so show me by liking the videos, okay?